Hi guys, so today I'm going to talk to you about when you should hire um, help in your business as a small business owner. And um, I get this question a lot, and it's actually something I recently decided to do, so I really wanted to touch on it because I think that I hindered myself by not hiring help sooner. So I'm going to start off by saying you need to hire help sooner than you think you need to hire help. I think as business owners, we concentrate on what we're not good at, and we try to make ourselves better at those things, when in reality, our time is better spent sort of being better at things we're already good at. So what I mean by that is, like, for example, I'm not super creative. I'm not really, like, good with flyers and making things pretty and all that sort of stuff. Um, I use, I'm not good with filters. You'll see that in my pictures. I'm very just basic. So um, I tried for a solid year and a half to create these fun flyers. And they probably took me like an hour to an hour and a half. And if I'm working with someone who's creative, it would probably take them like 10 minutes maybe. And I can pay that person $5 to come up with my vision. And I don't have to spend that hour and a half on it. I can be spending that hour and a half concentrating on the things I'm good at and becoming even better at those things. And I think that's where people make a mistake. They're like, well, I'm going to improve on what I'm bad at. What you should be really doing is improving on what you're good at and delegating what you're not good at. So I'm not saying that like a month into your business, you need to hire a full-time assistant. But what I am saying is it's important to realize what are your weaknesses and hire someone to help you with those. So for the first year and a half, I struggled through all these flyers. And then I finally was like, I'm going to hire someone to help me. And it has completely changed my business. So once I did that and I saw a huge change in that, um, I've actually since hired a personal assistant. Um, I have someone who still does my flyers, but I have someone who helps with my blog posts, um, helps me cross post, helps me with marketing, helps me with creative ideas, stuff that I need help with. You know, I'm really good at math. I'm really good at running reports. I want to be able to get to know people and talk to my challengers and build relationships because that's what I do in this business. But sometimes I don't have time for like all the creative stuff and what I'm going to post about next in my back office. And um, I'm not a great writer. So like helping me um, create and publish what I'm going to say on my, on my blog. All that stuff is super, super, super important to me. And I want to make sure that that stuff is done properly. So the answer is... Um, I want you to write down your weaknesses and think about like how long they take you and if it's worth it to you to um, outsource those weaknesses, if you will. So if you go to Fiverr, F-I-V-E-R-R, -R, or Upwork, you can actually like search for people to do these things for you. So if you need like a cover photo created, like I will create a cover photo, go to Fiverr and say WordPress cover photo. And you can type that in, and it'll come back 5 or $10. So is that worth it to you for the hour or hour and a half that you would spend doing that? Think about that, right? So I think this is like a really important thing to realize, that we're not good at everything, and we need to improve on our strengths and outsource our weaknesses. So I hope this was helpful. If you find value, feel free to share. Talk to you later. Bye.